there is something about your voice. Your voice can melt hearts. Look, my world is yours already, okay? So just open up yours and this love will flow like coastal river. I will love you. Leave my husband alone. Do you understand? He is married with children. If you want to die, accept his marriage proposal and you will have yourself to blame. What is wrong with you? My friend, give me this phone. Hello, baby. Baby. Hello. What is the meaning of this madness? Nathan, do not dare me. I made you and I have the power to unmake you. Don't push me and you know I'm not bluffing. So it has gotten to the point where you threaten me in my own house? The fact that I am quiet does not mean that you should take my quietness for cowardice. What is wrong with you? Okay, now you have now felt the pain. Thank God you are now feeling the same pain I felt when you slept with that man. What point exactly are you making? What's all this now, Nathan? Have you forgotten you were the one who was begging and begging me on your knees that I should go sleep with Honorable Alfred, who is now a Zakalugo of ancient Akama Kingdom? Yes, because I was down. I lost everything and I was desperately in need. Any man in that state will say anything to bounce back. It is your duty as a wife, Madhuria, to say, No, honey, I will not sleep with another man because you are down. But no, you went ahead and slept with him. That shows that you are a stupid and useless woman. And the next time you try this, eh, I swear, won't get rapid. Get out of this place, I said, get out, get out of this place. Leave, 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 leave away, son. You slept with another man and you expect me to, to, to forgive you. I could go in here, so it's over. Nonsense. What have I not done? What have I not done? My love, you have been complaining over and over again. Why would I complain when things have gone from bad to before I used to have what to fall back on, but now I have absolutely nothing to fall back on. I'm back to square one. Honey, I have told you that complaining compounds problems. I don't want you to start developing high blood pressure complications. Maybe I'm trying, but... But nothing. Instead of standing, sitting down and complaining, why don't you just do what you ought to do? Something like what? What am I supposed to do? I secured a job with Omega Construction Company. The management relieved me of my job for no just cause. I've come to the conclusion that village people are finally up against me. Baby, I do not believe in those unfound tales of village people. Even the so-called village people are facing their own problems. See, the economy is bad and it is affecting everyone. All we need to do is find solutions to our problems. But my love, you're sounding as if there is something I should do that I've not done. What am I supposed to do? I'm tired. Honestly speaking, I'm fed up.
Nay, I am surprised that up till now you've not said anything concerning what I told you. I have not said anything because I don't have anything to say. My daughter, Oluwebube, the one you now refer to as Grace, is married and is living with her husband. Can we allow them to continue living in peace? Can we do that? But tonight, they are not living in peace. The last time I spoke with her, she did not sound happy at all. Nay, I am thinking that you should use your good office as his Alusi and call the husband. Call the husband and tell him what exactly? That he should go out and make more money to make his wife happy? Is that what a man should be telling another man? But Nay, why are you making it appear as if money is the problem here? Money is not the problem, and you know it. If money is not the problem, Mama Grace, can you explain to me <laughs> what the problem is? Why are you piling pressure on me to get involved in how another one is running his home? Nay, you keep forgetting that your daughter is the woman in that home. Day in, day out, people who are struggling with their businesses come here every day for you to pray for them. And you do that as the priest of the central deity. Nay, why not do the same for your own daughter? But you know it is established. That the one who has a problem is the person who must lead the process of finding solution for that problem. As long as Nathan, our son-in-law, has not come here to explain to me that he has a problem and that he needs prayers. I should believe that uh, he has what it takes to turn things around on his own. And uh, I want us to give them benefit of the doubt. Do I have to go through this? What have I done to deserve this? Why did they give me a job in a very big construction company in the first place when they know they can't help me return it? I have done everything humanly possible to change my condition as a man. But the more I try, the more everything goes against me. To crown it all, my wife is not even helping in any way. How do I solve this problem?
My love, are you going to deny yourself a good night's sleep? How am I supposed to sleep when my house is on fire? My love, this will pass. I know it will sure fizzle away. When? I don't know, but something tells me that it will surely end in peace. Is it when the ship grows on? that I will get the help I need. My husband, please, don't sound like one who has lost hope in God. These were your exact words when I lost my job with Omega Construction Company. You said God will fix it. Until date, he hasn't. My love, are you saying God has not been faithful? Tell me why I shouldn't complain when my life has gone from bad to worse. My life is messed up completely. God forbid, my husband's life cannot be messed up. So many debts on our necks. The owner of this house just sold it to another person. And the new landlord has given us one month to move out. We can't move because there is no money. Um. My love, let's go in and sleep. We'll talk over this tomorrow, please. If you were me, will you be able to sleep with all this on your neck? Baby, just look at me, listen to me. Let's go in, please. If you continue like this, I'm afraid you might end up in the hospital. And I don't want that for you. My love is not easy. My love, I was once rich. Now I can't take care of my family. It is painful and shameful. Especially for someone who has touched money before. Am I not better off dead than this? Honey, why are you saying this? I now depend on my friends to eat and fuel my car. What a life. See, I know what you're trying to say. Don't even think of bringing up the idea of selling your car because I will not listen to you. My love, what is the essence of that car when I can't fuel it? Everything is wrong with me. Why are you not saying it? There is nothing wrong with you. And you're just reacting over this predicament. Take a good look at other people outside. You will understand that we are better off than most of them. And my love, please, it's okay. 
Alright? Just lie down and sleep. Tomorrow morning we'll talk this over. Thanks for your words of encouragement. Don't worry about me. Just go to sleep. I'll be fine. <laughs> so you will end up sneaking out to continue thinking again? What's all this now? What's this? Please now. Grace, you really need to listen to me. I am your mother, and even though you've become a mother equally, I still see you as my baby. The way things got bad for you and your husband is not ordinary. I live here with your father, and people with similar problems like that of your husband come here every day for your father to pray for them. And at the end of the day, things will always turn around for them for good. Why not get Nathan to come here and see your father? Grace, you know your father is not good with phone calls. If possible, come here yourself and see your father. There must be something he can do for you. Exactly. None of my friends wants to pick my call anymore because they believe I'm calling to beg them for money. This life no balance. What are you thinking about those early hours of the morning? Okay. Hmm? Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, love. If you have an idea. Okay, tell me about it. I think we should look for the owner of this house now, I mean the new landlord, and beg him for more time before we get another place. We can explain to him that I lost my job and still struggling to get another one. Ah. Do you think it would work? You know all these landlords, they are more concerned about their money. Never underestimate the power of humble explanation. He might take pity on us and give us more time. Okay. After all, even though I lost my job, we normally don't owe. He can verify from the former owner. Okay. It's a nice idea. I support you. So, when are we going? Who knows? The new owner might even be a woman. We will still beg. When are we going? If you're not busy, let's go to dinner. Why not? Finish the thing. Welcome to my house. Um, 
I must confess, you have a beautiful place here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, to what do I owe this um, August visit? Well, sir, I decided to come with my wife and see you as our new landlord. Yes, Cutty demands we should do that. And truth be told, you are the only one who can solve our problem. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, um, exactly. Um, I don't even know what the problem is. <laughs> I don't even know what the problem is. But um, we can always find a way around anything in this town. You know, um, I must confess that um, you have a beautiful wife. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank, thank you, sir. Yes, yes, my dear. You're welcome. You're welcome. She's fine. <laughs> um, so what is the problem? Um, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with um, your refusal to vacate the house, you know. Sir, it's not like we refused to vacate. Yes, we are not such tenants. We can't challenge our landlord. And that's why we are here, sir. Excuse me. So, yes. Um, oh, okay, then, um, but then it means that um, there must be a reason why you're staying back, even after you got the quick notice, isn't it? Yes, that's why we are here, actually. The problem is that um, I lost my job, sir. And since then, I've been finding it difficult to bounce back on my feet. As we speak, I'm trying to bounce back on my feet. The truth is, we have nothing at the moment. And that's why we are here to plead with you, to give us more time. We will definitely pay. Please, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, well, um... Yes? My name is Etim. I'm a driver to Honorable Alfred. I'm not his manager, and I do not have anything to do with the running of his business. So if you want to make any business inquiry, I will give you the number you will call. Wait, let me even ask you, how, how did you even get my number? The truth is that there is nothing I can do. Yes, I can't do anything from here, please. Sir, please, give us a reasonable time. We will surely vacate the premises. Yes, sir. You can verify from the former landlord. We don't owe rent. Yes. As a matter of fact, sometimes we pay even before the due date. But because I lost my job, yes, so I'm still struggling to bounce back. Mm -hmm. We will definitely pay, sir. Yes, sir. All we are asking for is little time. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hello. Are you at the site? Okay. I'll get back to you. Um, Nathan. Um, can you help me get a file on the front seat of the black SUV parked outside, please? Of course, sir. Madam, you, you, are, you, are, you are really beautiful. Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> good looking. Um, seriously, can I... Can I just have your number? Please, please, please. Please. 
Okay, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Who are you and what are you doing with the files? Good afternoon. My name is Nathan. We are having a meeting inside with Honorable. So he asked I should bring this file. Mm, yes. Are you his driver? My name is Etim. I'm his personal driver. Ah, Etim Etim. You're welcome. I'm not a lazy and I come out. Grace. Hmm. What a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Wow. Now just look at your legs. Nice. <laughs> See, it, it baffles me. What would a beautiful woman like you be doing with a broke man? Sir? Sir? What are you doing with this man? He has nothing to offer you. Sir, my husband may not have all the money in the world, but I love him. Huh? You what? You love poverty? Come on. Haven't you heard the song, No Romance Without Finance? You need money to finance love. Oh, so here it is. Drop it on the table. Ah, uh, um. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Nathan, you have to leave now. Okay? Um, I'm expecting some visitors. And they will be here any moment. Alright? If you go with your wife, I'll get back to you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your audience. Mm. But I am not promising anything, okay? No promises, but I'll get back to you. Thank you, sir. Why are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? I should join you in praising him. Why are you always attacking this man? Someone that wants to help us. I don't even understand you one bit. So you feel very comfortable to allow that man use you as an errand boy? Oh, that's... Getting his file for him from his car does not make me an errand boy. Please, let's go. Since you do not see anything wrong, please. Let's go. This one is broken, brown. Open your door. This one wants to help you. Stop reading me in the book of the right. So, please help. Calm down. Do you have any money on you so that we can talk free? I have a robot reserve tank. But you know I don't have money on me now. Why did we even carry this car in the first place? We would have trekked. Trekked? Do you know the distance? What are you even saying? Is it not better for us to trek than carry a car that has no fear inside? That's why I'm not speeding now so that we finish. Once I get to any hill, I will off the ignition. 
be rolled up. But you know that can cause brake failure. The, the, the reserve tank is 15 meters or 10 meters. But we've been on this reserve tank for three days. I don't know. Come on, you. We shouldn't have carried this guy in the first place. I'm not speaking now. The guy will not, will not disappoint us. Where it goes faster when you are speaking. You want to drive me? Yes, sir. The car keys. No, 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 no. I feel like driving today. Oh, okay, sir. Hmm? Okay, sir. Where is um, Joseph? Um, I sent him on an errand, sir. You sent Joseph on an errand? Yes, sir. And you want to drive me? Who would you leave the house to? Sir, I didn't know you would go out to me. My friend, open the gate. Yes, sir. Nathan, why are you driving so slowly? I'm on red, sir. Oh. Okay. I understand. You're lucky to have met someone like me. Take. Fill up your tank. Our new landlord gave us 100,000 naira for free. Hey! 100,000! He's such a good man. Hey! Baby, I'm so excited. staring at me. So you didn't understand what I asked you. What are you doing with Honorable Alfred? How are you possibly expecting me to answer that question? Why won't you answer me? 
Listen, Blaze. <clears throat> what is your business with the way I decide to live my life? Honorable Alfred is my boyfriend. And I decide to do with him what a babe of my class do with her boyfriend. Do you have any problem with that? Lisa, are you aware the Honorable Alfred we are talking about is a married man? And how is that a problem? Hmm? Listen, please. A man is a man. If a married man decides to make himself my boyfriend, allow me to date him in peace. Allow me to befriend him in peace. Are you aware that this Honorable Alfred is a useless man who has no problem in dating even a married woman. Who told you that? Are you trying to make me hate my man? Please, stop referring to a politician as your man because no politician holds any woman as theirs. Huh? That useless money misroad man is dating a woman that I know and her husband is planning an attack on him. It could be acid or gun attack. Why are you telling me all of this? Why do you want me to leave a man that has been footing my bills? <laughs> you know what? Continue doing what you feel makes you happy, okay? But please be careful. Because the day of the attack, you may be with him. And I know you will not figure out how your face will look like if it's acid attack. Nine, it is not as if I did not get what you explained the last time. If you got what I explained the last time, why then are we back discussing the same thing? Olebube, from what I've gathered so far, has done everything possible to convince her husband to come here for prayers. So why have I not seen him? No, why has he not come here? Listen, I am prepared to pray for him. I am prepared to take him to Mbalogu and pray for him the way I should pray for somebody who is in trouble. But he has to come in person. He must make himself available for the prayers. Are you saying that in a situation where he is not ready to come or available to come now, you are going to allow your son-in-law and your daughter to be disgraced? Nobody is going to be disgraced. A man who is marrying a woman must be allowed to marry that woman. Forget the fact that the woman in question here is our daughter. We should let her be. As long as a man who is marrying a woman has not become violent, the in-laws should not ever interfere.
This man gave us money without saying a word. What is running through his mind? about. The landlord has seen our situation. And I'm sure he won't carry out his plan of throwing us out of the house. So you think because he gave us money, he would allow us to stay in his house without me? Nathan, where is your faith? My faith is intact. I'm just being real. How do you know? Each time I remember how I suffered to secure that job. Yet they sacked me empty-handed. That job was my life. It's painful. Yes, the name of the man is Kanu Ventures. The man has so many keke. I can be your guarantor. See, my brother, within 10 months, you don't pay and finish. I know they waste time. My brother, are you okay? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Listen, I came out of school with second class upper in civil engineering, and you're telling me to start a KK business because I'm jobless. I don't get it. Does that make sense? See, boss, since the job you are seeking for is not coming, why not start from somewhere? My friend, stop embarrassing me. I said I read civil engineering. Whatever job I must get must be in line with what I read in school. See, you have searched virtually all the offices for a job. Since the job is not coming, start up this care business. My brother, I know they waste time. Oh. Not me, how they do. I don't blame you. Yes, no job, fine. But that's not enough reason to embarrass myself with keke business. Huh? I will wait. My job must be in line with what I read in school. No two ways about that. Please, I will wait. Uh-uh. Oh, come on here, I beg. This country works no deal. Me, where they do this, I cannot be say I like that. Being jobless does not mean I should be stupid. Let's leave here. Uh-uh. It's more than you, you advise me to come to work. What is that? You can work with this time off. Finally, I got the job and... Can you stop complaining about this job and move on? You have lost the job and from all indications, it will never come back. You keep saying this. How do I move on? The truth of this is that some people are actually the cause of their own problems. Meaning? Please leave me alone. I've been insulted and humiliated in this town by people who would not be able to stand before me just because I got married to a stubborn husband. Can you stop repeating yourself and tell me the stubbornness you're talking about? Two cups of Gary Egusi and uh, crayfish Cameroon pepper. Hope you came with your money. I don't have money. <laughs> you don't have money, and you came to buy what exactly? When my husband returns from work, I will pay you. When my husband returns from which work? So you lied to me. 
as beautiful as you are, you've chosen lying as your profession. You think we don't know. Or you think we don't know that your husband has lost his job. But instead of him to look for what to do, he sits home waiting for the same job to come to him. Mama, Nancy. Your husband is a lazy man. You are also a lazy woman. Please, I'm yeah, bringing down your voice, eh? Mama, Nancy, please. Be cool. Please what? You've not paid me for the last purchase you made. You're still owing. I was even thinking you're coming here to clear the debt. But no, you came to pick more things, to add more debt to the ones you're owing. Please now, we have not eaten since yesterday. But my husband has gone job hunting. How is that my business? You've not eaten. Once your husband job hunts, can't he do other things? There are other things for him to do. He can go and maybe serve messing, do loading, offloading. He can do something. Mama Nedi, my husband came out with second class upper. Second class? What has the second class upper done for him? Listen, let me tell you, and I don't want to repeat this. Read my lips. I will not give you anything from this shop if you don't clear the old debt. So don't waste your time standing. I will not. Oh, you think I buy these ones on credit? I have pleaded with you to allow me to get something doing, but you refused. You say you can't watch your wife work for another man. You came out of school with second class upper. I came out with first class in mathematics. I can get a job today. If not any job, at least a teaching job. You won't let me do that. You will also not humble yourself to do something else. If this is not being stubborn, I'm just wondering what stubbornness is. Grace, you really need to do away with that word, stubborn. Do you think I'm happy? See the way our kids have to go back to the village to stay with my mom, all because we cannot just take care of them here. Grace, whatever that is happening to me now is spiritual. Why can't you see it from that angle? There is no spiritual connection to this at all. We have been hit below the belt and you simply refuse to do something. Don't go there. Cut you off our landlord. At least we now have full stuff. We have fuel in the car. I believe before the month runs out, something good will happen. I'm being optimistic about this. I am also being very optimistic. You know what? Allow me to apply for a job at Bliss Memorial Academy. They have a vacancy for a senior mathematics teacher. And I gathered they pay up to 150,000 Naira a month. You want my wife, Uno Dobu, to be working for 150,000 Naira monthly? That's an insult on my person. Besides, it will be exposing you to those hawks that are targeting married women. So you think they've not been disturbing me even as a married woman? Ah, oh God. Infidelity is of the mind. Whoever wants to cheat will cheat, even if the person is being locked up in the house forever. Sandra, you needed to have seen this beautiful lady I met at Macro the other day. <laughs> Tell me about her. Mm. <laughs> Beauty is an understatement. Mm. She is the very personification of the word. Pretty. <laughs> oh. Guess what? I'm dripping already. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you will share her with me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, no. I cannot share her with you, nor any of our babes. She is mine, and mine alone. She's pretty. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> My God. Mama P. Yes. But you've been sharing your babes. Why are you suddenly becoming stingy over this particular girl called Grace? Why? What's so special about her? That is not even my problem right now. My problem is that she hasn't called since that day. Even when I gave her my complimentary card. Relax, she'll call you. Okay. I know she will. Sure, she's beautiful. She's pretty. <laughs>
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Whose card is that? How benevolent woman I met at the market. I didn't know people like this still exist. Let me see. How come you never told me about her? I didn't know she was listening to my conversation with my man, Nedi. You're still standing here. Please leave my shop so that reasonable customers can come. Leave! Or you want to run down my shop the way you run down your husband. Leave! Mama, no. Hey, God, what did I Please. do to this? Leave my shop now! Please, be cool. Hey! This, I'm begging you. Back up. This morning. Mama, Nedi, please. Madam. Even if you have no respect for woman food, you should respect this beautiful lady here. She's not just beautiful, but completely elegant. That's going again. You don't have any business with the way I choose to relate with my customer. You just said your customer? If she is your customer, that means you're wicked. Mm -hmm. You're wicked to speak to her in that manner. Let me tell you something, madam. Things can turn around for people and position them. But you never know tomorrow. So don't do that again, it's not nice. Madam, please. I don't want to have any problem with you. I don't want any trouble. Just get lost. Leave my shop. Sweetheart, how much are you owing her? 11,000 naira. <laughs> Eleven thousand, right? Fine. Please learn to be kind to people. Nobody knows tomorrow, okay? Thank you. You can say whatever you want to say. The most important thing is that you paid me. You guys can now leave. Hello, please come. Let me give you some money to get what you want to get from the market. Sweetheart, please have this, okay? No, 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 this no, no, is no, too no. much. No, don't do that. See, I was listening to your conversation with that wicked woman. I can tell things are really rough for you. You're struggling right now. But let me assure you something. Things will definitely improve, okay? All right? Thank you have so much. This. Thank have you. This. Thank you, ma. It's okay. <laughs> I like your personality. You know, when I was crossing, that's so a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's man. fine. Then let me give you my compliment check out too. Okay, have this. You can call this number, this one here. Anytime you need anything, just call me. And I will answer you, alright? Thank you, ma. It's fine. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> Such a beauty. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's okay. I realized it. It's okay, okay? It's fine. Okay? You may Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So why haven't you called her? I don't know. There's this little tiny voice that keeps whispering to my mind. Each time I want to call her, that I shouldn't call her. Have a go to tiny new voice. Call her first. And know what she wants to say. Oh, 
<laughs> Baby, I miss you already. Mm, you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss it too. My phone, your phone. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello, ma. It's Grace, ma. Hello. Hello, Mama P. Are you still there? Yes. Yes. Grace. How are you? What happened? What happened to your call since then? Uh, I'm sorry, Ma. Um, I was having a little challenge with our landlord, so I've not been coordinating since then. We had rent issues. Yeah. So, has it been sorted out? Not really, ma. Okay, never worry. Um, can you come to my place right now? Um, ma, why don't I come tomorrow? Why? Why is it not possible? Let me guess. You don't have money for transportation, right? Okay, just send me your account details and I will credit some money to your account right now for your transportation. I want to see you at my place right now. Okay, ma. I'll send it right away. Fine, sweetheart. I will be waiting. Sugar. <laughs> she said you should send your account number. So what are you waiting for? Send it immediately now. Must I send it now? I can send it later. Why later? Someone that cleared your debt gave you 100,000 naira even when you did not ask for anything. Can pay your rent and she has already known that you have accommodation problems. So send the account number now. Delay is dangerous. Do you want me to send my account number to a woman that was calling me my love, sweets and all that? Huh. Is she not a woman? I don't have a problem with a woman calling you sweet names. Well, if you do not have a problem with that, honestly, I do. I will have to pray over this first before sending my account number to her for anything. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When I said our problem might be spiritual, you kicked against it. Now, someone wants to help us and you are saying you will pray about it. Sometimes you need money, not prayer. Do not let our situation make you blaspheme against God. I am not blaspheming against God. I am being objective. God will not come down from heaven to help us. He will do that to someone. Send your account number to her now. So you're saying that this Mama P is God sent? Well, you may be right. But I will not send my account number now because I don't have this push in the spirit to do it. When I do, then I'll send it. For now, I don't want to keep arguing. Please. <laughs> I'm going to devour her. I'm going to eat her. I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. I know you cannot afford to leave me behind. <laughs> you know, like I said, I wouldn't want to share her with anybody, not even you. But I changed my mind. Ooh. <laughs> wow, <woo. laughs> you know, you see, this is why I like talking about you. Mm. Your act of benevolence is mm. second to none. Mm. You're the best. I am the best. You, you can know, say that again. You are the best. You know, like they said. Like they said. There is love in sharing. sharing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I will share this one with you. Okay? <laughs> um, you know, with your present condition right now, by the time I filmed raw cash, raw cash. before her, 
mm-hmm. she will just melt <laughs> like an ice. <laughs> <laughs> what money cannot do does not exist. <laughs> she seems to me like um, like um, a strong, yes, and hard not to crack. Yes, but you know what I mean. Money can do the magic. You know. Oh my God! <sighs> what, baby? Uh-huh. What is actually stopping her from sending the account details to demand it? Let me check. Oh, is there? No, not yet. But never worry. She would definitely send it. Um, I know that. I know she will. I know she will. She will. I know she will. I can't wait. I can't wait. She's so beautiful. I can't wait to have her to uh-huh. myself. You know? Oh, gosh. Grace. Mm. What a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Wow. Now just look at your legs. Nice. <laughs> See, it, it, it baffles me. What would a beautiful woman like you be doing with a broke man? Sir? Sir? What are you doing with this man? He has nothing to offer you. Sir, my husband may not have all the money in the world, but I love him. (sighs) That woman is so beautiful. To be left in the hands of that man who is feeding from hand to mouth. Why are politicians like this? How do you mean? Can you swear on anything that it is not a woman you're thinking of? Look at me very well. Very beautiful, fleshy, and always ready to do anything. But yet, she will abandon me to be thinking about another woman. That is the way of politicians, and I so much detest that way of life. Hello? I want you here now. <laughs> oh, sweet girl. Yeah. Son, do you know you're very sweet? Oh. You know what? Mm-hmm. You're sweet of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, come on. This Grace is yet to say I can't tell us. What is keeping her? Stop worrying your head. She will definitely send it. Hmm? Her husband is poor. Oh, they feed from hand to mouth. She's married? Yes, she's married. But beautiful. Wow. You will get to meet her very soon. <laughs> well, um, should we continue waiting for her indefinitely? Sweetheart, don't push it. I think you should call her again. Okay. I don't understand. What's going on here? Ah, uh, Lisa, there is nothing difficult for you not to understand in this. What don't you understand? 
I have asked you to get out of my house, get out of my life. Look, Lisa, if I ever make the mistake of calling you, if ever I ever make the mistake of calling you, don't pick my calls. Because if you pick my call, I will show you the other side of a politician that you don't know exists. Uh, please, sir. I, I was only joking now. Please, oh, come on. Hey, 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 madam. Oh, madam, madam. I'm already losing it. Go in there and pick the things that are yours. Don't make me push you, madam. Madam. Uh, baby. You know, who's your baby? I'm a hey, 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 hey. to me. Who's your baby? Embarrassing me. Who's your baby? Eh? Madam, move. Baby, you like move. me? Baby. I'll, I'll push. Stop. Baby, he's talking to me. You're yeah. you no sweet. No sweet man. take this call. I don't know. There's something about this woman I can't really place my finger on. Who is she? Mama P. So you still haven't sent your account number to this woman? This might be God sending you helper and you're waving it off. My love, she's definitely not the helper. Just take that from me. You never can tell. I know. But something keeps telling me to stay clear from this woman. Why? Why don't you just send her the account number? We need money. I don't know. There's, there's something about this Mama P. I don't want to get involved with her. Please, for once, just trust your wife. Baby, it's not all about trust. It's all about being calculative, knowing what you want at the time. We need money. I mean, that money is so small for you. It's nothing. I don't know it. Sweetheart, when you collect money from the queen, you have accepted the queen. And the queen must have you. That is what's up. <laughs> I wish you luck. As for me, I've already killed her most. She is mine, and I will definitely get her. <laughs> oh, he's not here. He left without giving me anything. I'm the one that will settle you, so let's leave. But why is he so mean? I was actually joking. I was only joking with him. You were joking. Joking with your mate. You had the opportunity of being with the boss. You messed it up. 
by talking anyhow. Blah 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 blah. You're talking to a small child. Madam, move a bed. You can help me talk to him. Talk. Go a bed. You can help me. Move. Nathan, why are you driving so slowly? I'm on red, sir. Oh. Okay. I understand. You're lucky to have met someone like me. Take. Fill up your tank. I gave them 100,000 Naira. She should have known that it was because of her that I gave them that money. That ought to tell her that I can bless her life. Why hasn't she called? Has it not boiled down to the same thing I was telling you about the man? He threw you out because of a woman. And if you investigate it properly, the woman is married. Just, just stop. I beg you. Please. Just, just stop this. Stop it. I'm in pain. The man who has been paying my bills threw me out of his house in a most disgraceful manner. You should be suggesting how I can win him back. And who told you I want you to win him back? What happened is good riddance to bad rubbish. Accept any of the young men asking you out and move on with your life. What future do you have with a man who has a wife? I, I can't remember telling you that I have a future with him. Or oh, I'm actually building a future with him. The man is actually my meal ticket. And he has finally thrown you out of his life. Get used to a life without him and move on. Oh, wait. 
good. He's not even taking my calls. More reason you should forget about him and move on with your life. Women like you are the reasons men take us for granted. Will you just shut up for once? Just, sh 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 just, just, just shut up if you don't have anything to say here. <laughs> What was what, 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 really my business with what we might do? It is. It is my man. It is my mom we're talking about here. My meal ticket is what we are talking about right now. I need it back. Women like you, who keep forcing themselves on men. Even when the men are not interested in them, are the reason men look down on us. Know what you represent as a woman and no peace. Send the account details. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, let me wire her ten thousand naira. That would be nice for her. No. And I sent her ten thousand naira, and she decided not to come again. She might decide to make do with 10,000 naira and then she won't come. Oh gosh. Okay, let me wire her 5,000 naira. Ah, I must send 5,000 naira and she decide not to come. Maybe it will be too much, too small, or too much, or too small. Okay, anything that will make me lure her into my bed is what I'm gonna do. 10,000 naira. I wire. God. Yeah. Wait for her. Whew. Wait. I just did this because of you, since you won't let me be. Thank you, my love. Going to find out why she's calling will not hurt you. Well, if I have to go there, you're going to go with me. Eh? It's not necessary now. Ah. I'll have Abby. Yes. She just transferred 10,000 naira. Purpose, Tife. Oh. You see what I'm talking? Did you see what I've been saying? Another message. Mm. Oh. Sweet. I just transferred 10,000 Naira to you for tea fair. I'll be waiting for you. Come to the address on the card. Good night, sugar. She wants you to come tomorrow. That's not my problem. My point is, why would she be calling me names like Sweet Sugar and all of that? It's nothing, my love. I know people who use these such terms, yet it means nothing to them. If you say so. But I will only go there if you go with me. It doesn't make sense. I can't go with you. Huh. Then I'm not going anywhere. Do not misunderstand me, ma. His name is Nathan. He's my husband. And from the way we have lived our lives for so long as man and woman, we do not hide anything from each other. 
And he came with you? Of course I came with you. Um, Madam, please, don't be angry. You see, um, I know you're a good woman who wants to help. But since you've been calling, my wife was not convinced. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that convinced her to come. So don't be angry I came with her. It's nothing. Then you came with her. But let me guess. You're one of those insecure men who do not allow their wives to have a mind of their own, right? Sorry. What's that her name again? Mama P. Good. Mama P. Please. My wife and I share this bond. Yes. I married her when I was a nobody. I was poor. Marrying her brought me good luck. Open doors, favor. So we don't hide anything. Please, sorry that I came with her. And I, I will also add to that. I am the daughter of a priest. What kind of priest? A traditional priest that ministers on the altars of our ancestors. And I was raised very well. My husband knows that, so there's no way he would even think I'm doing anything funny or suspect me. Yes, she's a very decent woman. We are, we are here for the help. Don't be angry that I came with her, please. Men like you who are blessed with good women do not know what God has done for them. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be here. Good. Good. You are not supposed to be here. So, why are you here? That's because I... I have been calling him all through the night. But he will not take my calls. I even called him this morning. He still did not take my calls. Lisa, I'm not a man of too many tales. Can you go straight to the point? Why are you here? Oh, okay. Um, I... I want to see him. And... I want to apologize to him. Okay. You want to see him and apologize to him. I will move in now and leave an instruction with the gate man. If he sees you around this vicinity, he will get you arrested. People will be running your mouth, talking anyhow. You'll be discussing with you if you open your mouth and be talking as if you are left somewhere. Now you are here to beg. Yeah, yeah, beg him, beg him, beg him, beg him. You know that everything you are, everything you spend, all the money you spend, everything, that the chief, chief is the person giving you the money. I, you don't even respect him. I, you open your mouth talking in the house. I, 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 Will I ever forgive myself? <sighs> you may be seated. Sit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Did you both plan from your home not to eat, not drink anything at my place? <laughs> my, uh, very funny. <laughs> when you're there, I'll walk while that's okay. Grace, I actually invited you over to see if there is anywhere I can help your family. Haven't seen the ugly incident that took place at the market the other day. Yes, that reminds me. 
My wife told me everything. That's part of the reason I came to say thank you to a good woman. Thank you very much once again. You haven't seen anything yet. You know, I like seeing women who can actually take insults without retaliating. Those are the women that own the future. I was watching that classless woman. Heaping insults on your wife. And she stood without saying anything. Ma, please, can we do without recalling that incident? Please. Okay. Sugar. Can you please come with me to my room and see if there is anything you would like? I know you need a lot and I am ready to give you a lot. Make yourself comfortable. Sit. You see, I brought you in here so that we can have time for ourselves and talk like women. Okay. Why are you uncomfortable with me? Come on, I don't bite. Relax. <laughs> okay. I will still give you everything I promised, just to confuse the man out there. But let me ask, what can two million naira do for you? <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> you kept me waiting yesterday. <laughs> now you are here. I love you. Oh. I want you. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> Learn to spend quality time with me. And I bet you will not regret every moment you spend with me. Oh. Are you part of them? <laughs> part of what? You know exactly what I'm saying. Are you part of them? You should be concerned about the money you're about to get. The connection. The easy life. That is what you should be concerned about. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. This is exactly what I've been telling her. That Mama P could be our destiny helper. Is it not happening now? Grace keeps having strange feelings for everything and this intuition of evil at all times. Is this you for real? So this is why you invited me for this ungodly act? Sure. Why are you here strong? You see, what you call unholy is what I use in building this mansion, buying the fleet of cars that are parked at my garage. If you are good, I will give you international connections and your life will never remain the same. I rebuke you. Hey! What does that mean? Hmm? <laughs> See, Grace, you are beautiful. And your beauty is fading away because you refuse to use them wisely. So this is who you finally are. Hi! I am so disappointed. <laughs> I am not those kind of women. 
that pretends to be what they are not. If you are good, I will introduce you to grade one politicians, business gurus, intellectuals, who made me what I am today, through what you detest. And if you sleep with any of them, you are night. Yes. God forbid. <laughs> hey! Come on, sweetheart. Feel free. Let me take you to hey! the planet. What are you trying to do? Eh? What do you want to do? I came here with my wife. And all of a sudden, she is nowhere to be seen. And I'm still seated here. Oko, Oko. Let, 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 let's go, me. Evil woman. Chris, why are you making things difficult for both of us? We can actually do this, but surely. Enjoy it without shooting. Ah, Let it go of me, evil woman. Oh, shit. You call me evil because I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help again. Keep your help to yourself. See, I will scream. I will so scream. My husband is there. Remember. <laughs> you call that one husband? Hmm? A man who could not provide for you and put food on your table. You call him a husband? Yes, he is my husband. And as I'm seeing you like this, you can never marry a man like my husband. <laughs> who is interested in getting married to a man who cannot even feed himself? When I have women who can satisfy me on bed. Yes, I don't need a man. All I need is those beautiful women who satisfies me and cool wax of money to wrap it up with. Come on, come here. Come on, come here. Let me have you. Don't worry, don't worry. I will make you two million dollars, okay? Two million dollars. Go away, don't worry, don't worry. Please. Please, can't you see? I'm laughing for you. I'm honey. I'm honey. I'm honey. I'm honey. Hey, I'm honey. 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 I'm so this is the help! Leave me for Lydia! Leave here already! I will come back. I said leave! I'm going to your bogo. Who is calling my house? I'm going to your bogo. Foolish man! You come here! Come on, leave my house now! Look at you! You! Just spoil something! What's, what's wrong with him? Nonsense! Oh my goodness! She makes me. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit! I just blame myself. I blame myself for paying heed to you. If I did not, you would have said I do not respect you. I'm sorry, my love. Please forgive me. I never knew she's that bad. Just imagine, I knew there was something wrong with this woman. The moment she started calling me all manner of names and blah, 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 I knew something was wrong. But the one I called my husband did not say anything wrong in a woman addressing me in whatever manner she wants to address me. That woman is a lesbian. She promised giving me two million naira instantly. Only if I allow her to make love to me. Oh, you're shocked? Wait. She also said she was going to link me up to women of her class who will automatically turn my life around if I won their bets. What nonsense. 
Just imagine. She was very kind. She actually got into my room, but nothing happened. The useless so called wife material actually came to my house with her husband. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Goodness. Well, I technically played on the intelligence and brought her in here. Yes, I would have succeeded. If not that, that useless, jobless he got bashed in on us. I don't really know what to do right now. But trust me, I will get her when I want to get her. I promise you that. Yes. If my husband had listened to me, I would not have been involved in that show of shame. How can a woman lost after another woman? Hey! That woman nearly raped me. Oh. Huh? She has the strength of ten men put together. Or was she under the influence of somebody? Mm. 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 It's um Honorable Alfred, your new landlord. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Where are you? I'm at home, sir. Can I see you today? Is there any problem, sir? Well, um, 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 Grace, I have actually decided to help um, you and your husband. Oh, that is, if you want. <sighs> Thank you, sir. We will be forever grateful to you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, you see, I, I have um, four other buildings on your street, you know. I was actually thinking that um, I, I could make you and your husband caretakers of my facilities. As well, I could also, um, you know, give your husband money to do business so that, you know, both of you can live um, a happy uh, married life. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Yes, uh, but there's just the one you know, small condition, you know. How? I, 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 I don't get it, sir. Grace. Oh, God, beautiful Grace. Uh, get down with me. Honorable, sir. If I understand you very well, you are saying that I, a married woman, I should sleep with you. Ah, uh, Grace, you are an adult now, so you should know what I am talking about. Hey, Grace, you understand, you're a beautiful woman, and you should not be undergoing this untold hardship. You know, hardship and beauty don't mix. <laughs> it is what it is. No, 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 don't see it as anything, okay? Don't see it as anything. I mean, this is the new trend in the more modern world. People use what they what they uh, they have in order to get what they need. There's a new trend. Hello. Hello. What type of life is this? Why are all these temptations coming to me from left, right, and center? Is it now a crime to be blessed with beauty by the universe? My fellow woman is lusting after me. Now, Honorable Alfred is the one I am to bother my head over. 
They are making it look as though I'm the one responsible for my husband's predicament. How can I come out of this? Things are going from bad to worse. We only went to him because we need help. Now he has left the issue on the discussion and is now lusting after me. Another man's wife. <sighs> How will I handle this? My love, why are you flaring up? I only made a suggestion. It's a wrong suggestion. How can me of all people become a mason? A civil engineer like me should become a mason because I lost my job. No, 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 no. Who does that? My love, rather than sit down and wait for manna to fall from heaven for us, let's make do with whatever we see. I will never. I will never. Even when one has lost his job, he should maintain some certain level of dignity. Yes. Because that dignity is what will bring another job. I will not condescend so low or submit myself or settle down to become a mercy all in the name of no, mame. I won't. My love, my husband, do away with pride. I am not asking you to do what I will not do. I'm also involved in this or do you want us to starve in this house? Grace, there must be another way out because I will not, I will not become a mason. A civil engineer like me cannot become a mason because I'm jobless. Mommy. My love, when what you crave for so much is not within reach, you make do with the available. No, not in this case. If going to building sites, to become a mason is the only job left in this town. I'd rather sit down here and die of hunger. I don't know why you're insisting on this, but no this and no peace. I will not do a job as demeaning as going to building site to work as a mason. I will not. I'm jobless, fine, but I still have little pride in me. Beautiful Grace. Are you going to pick your call and not say anything? Anyway, I have made my point very clear. I want you, and that is the only way that I'm going to oblige your husband's request. And even do more. You scratch my back, I scratch your back, and everybody's happy. Sir, if someone had told me you would stoop so low to demand such from a helpless man's wife, I would not have believed it. <laughs> oh, beautiful voice. You're a bell. I swear. You, you are an irresistible, beautiful woman. You know, a shining example of what a beautiful woman should look like. And you know, something tells me that you are going to be a specialist in the other room. <laughs> Can you just stop telling me all these things? Grace, I suffer chronic insomnia. Thinking of you. Don't you see that I want you so desperately? I want to lie down and wake up in the arms of a elegant lady like you just for one night just one night sir what you demand of me is evil and i will not oblige you such refuse to oblige me and stand the risk of being thrown out of that house oblige me 
and enjoy the dividends that come with it. The choice is yours. Hello? Grace? Hello? Hello? Who was that? Um a construction engineer I met at a construction site to help me with um, many other jobs. So you already contracted someone who will help us get the missing job, right? Yes, and we start tomorrow on a clean slate. Good. You will go alone because I will never do such. No problem. I don't even understand this. I used to earn 1.4 million naira monthly as a civil engineer. Now you want me to start working as a mercer. Blow woman there. Never. Mambe. So please, as I was saying, all I'm asking for is more time, sir. Give me more time. I promise I will bounce back to clear my debts. Please. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Open this bag. Sir? Open it. Jesus. That is money. Money, and all of it belongs to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much. This is unbelievable. Thank you, sir. Sir, God will keep being God in all your endeavors. God bless you. Thank you very much. Don't pray for me yet. I have not landed. Allow me to make my presentations and... Um, if after what I have to say, you still have the urge to pray for me, well, of course, your prayers will not have the needed foundation. <laughs> what are you talking about, sir? There is something I want you to do for me before you can have this money. Consider it done, sir. Just say it and I will do it. Okay. Are you sure you will you will do it? Say no more, sir. Just tell me whatever it is, I will do it. See morning. from my sweet dream. I don't blame you. You're here sleeping <coughs> instead of looking for how to solve our problems. Hi. Do you know Honorable Alfred was about to give me money before you woke me up? Are you kidding me? Is that why you're talking to me like this? Just because you saw that useless man in your dream? I did not only see him in my dream. He was about giving me money. He just said I should do something for him before he will hand over that money to me. I was about finding out what he wants me to do before you woke me up with this useless food. Is this why we are here? 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't want me to explain the meaning of that dream. Please, don't bring your useless spiritual interpretations into this. This is nothing like spiritual interpretation. Before you go and submit yourself to that occultic man, remember we both agreed to have one more child. Why are you like this? Who told you that that man is a cultist? I don't need anybody to tell me. I know. Yes, I know. Eat your food. Why is Grace not back by this time of the day? I mean, what's keeping her? I'm hungry, I'm famished, I've been eating jello fries since morning. What sort of life is this? Barrister, I already pleaded with him to give me more time to work out. Since I lost my job with the construction company, life has never been the same with me and my family. Please. Mr. Nathan, we have the court order already. He went to court without telling us. You have violated your tenancy agreement and the oral agreement you both had. He asked me to come lock this house because you have refused to pack out. Please, Barrister, don't do this to me. You, you are a man like me. You should understand me. I swear, if I have this money, I will pay. I lost my job. Things are hard. All I'm begging for is more time to pack out. I will pack out, but give me more time, please. Mr. Nathan, I understand. Things are very hard for everybody now. On my own, I will give you until the end of the week. Please, live on your own. Stand a chance of being ejected forcefully. Thank you. Why are all these landlords mean? Why can't they just understand and give me more time? Hi. Right. 